Obviously, there is a, a huge uh, interest in his travel, but because of security concerns, there has been a very tight release of when he would be leaving. But it does look right now we are looking live at the motorcade departing there, carrying the former president to his arraignment today. Uh, Secret Service has been there, of course, as they always are accompanying the president. And in preparation, Miami officials have also been securing the area in and around the courthouse, um, keeping very close close eye on what is happening there. Not only are there people there who have gathered, there is media from around the world also descending here. South Florida, of course, is a, a very busy place in general, but we can expect in and around the courthouse today to be extremely tight and extremely busy here as Donald Trump will face a judge. Now, it will not be the judge Eileen Cannon that's been reported, so I want to kind of clarify that. Here's what we know about what Donald Trump will be facing as we look live here, but 25 minutes of a commute as this motorcade then goes to the courthouse. Here's what you can expect. Again, as we just said, he'll be entering the courthouse through an underground tunnel. We will not be having eyes on him. Very much no different than what we saw in New York. It's a federal courthouse. He will face a magistrate judge, a judge by the name of Jonathan Goodman. Um, he's a former he's a former newspaper reporter, uh, very well liked there in South Florida, and he is going to be handling sort of the procedural part of today's Raymond. What we have also learned, there'll be no mugshot, folks. Donald Trump, the former president, will not have to empty out his pockets. He will be fingerprinted, but it will be electronically. So he will go through the procedure today to be arraigned. It will be brief, and it will be behind closed doors. Inside that courtroom with the magistrate judge, no cameras were allowed, and also no devices of any kind. So anyone inside would not be able to record anything. There will be a sketch artist, so we do expect to have sketches of former President Trump after uh, the arraignment happens. The arraignment is connected to, of course, this indictment brought by Special Prosecutor Jack Smith. It is 37 counts. It is related to documents at Mar-a-Lago. Uh, he will have his legal team with him. It will be lawyers Todd Blanche and Chris Kies. Former president did have a bit of a legal shakeup, and he did have to... Uh, Two of his lawyers, uh, Jim Trusty, announcing that he was going to step down last week. So again, looking live here, former President Donald Trump en route to the courthouse here in downtown Miami to face the arraignment here. He is expected to enter a not guilty plea, and there is also reports that his legal team will waive the reading of these charges. So again, pretty much procedural. While there is a you know a lot of you know, media coverage, and uh, again, we're watching moment by moment his arrival. When he gets inside, it will be very, according to some people, very anticlimactic. Thanks, guys. Take care. Eric Bowling is joining me here on set now to talk about some of the things we're watching unfold. Um, Eric, President Trump called this a dark day when he was indicted on Thursday. And, you know, uh, people do feel like this is a dark day, but in some regards, there is there is light because there is more transparency, more truth coming about about the way the government is, is conducting their handling of him with classified documents and the, the classified documents that Biden had in an unlocked garage with his Corvette, as he says. Two-tier justice, um, similar if not uh, um, events, Biden having documents in a very... Yeah, not very secure place, open garage, yeah. and Hunter Biden, well known to be in and out of that garage with some pretty nefarious characters, friends of his, prostitutes, drug dealers, and they worry about some documents in a box at Mar-a-Lago on a, on a, on a, on a, in a bathroom or on a, on a stage. I, you know what's fascinating to me is, is the um, what's going to happen down here in this courthouse in Miami. Remember Mayor Suarez is rumored he may announce a run for presidency in the next couple of days. So. How is he handling this? Is this, is, is, you know, will there be altercation? Antifa said they're going to show up at the courthouse. Now, will Antifa show up to cause trouble? Will Antifa show up in MAGA hats? I mean, they've been known to, you know, false flag it and, and, and start trouble in, in the name of the, the, the people who, are, who they're actually protesting against. 95 completely shut down, folks, as we see the president's motorcade here. You are looking live at history unfolding here in Miami as the president has left Doral, his property, to head to the federal courthouse, the Wilkie D. Ferguson Jr. Courthouse. And, um, Eric, that's a great point. You know, we hope there's been no disturbances so far, so we hope everyone continues to be civil. The mayor, Suarez, he reportedly is already at the, at the courthouse 
he was seen in front of the cameras there. And I know that he's also going to be addressing some folks later this week to talk about a run for, for presidency. He was on your show, actually, a few weeks ago. A I caught that ago. amazing interview. Yeah. yeah. Asked him if he wanted to run. He didn't say no. He clearly does. He, he also hinted at it within the last couple of days that he, he has a, a big announcement about that coming up, which means he'll probably make a run for it. I, I, look, this is all, no one else matters right now. Even Ron DeSantis doesn't matter right now. This is all about Donald Trump, how he you know, presents himself. Remember, the day these indictments came down, he played around the golf. And, and, and so he's not He's not acting like he's overly concerned. I don't think he needs to be overly concerned. I don't think they're going to put a former president behind bars. And that's the only thing that may stop him from becoming the next president is if he's actually in a, in a jail cell. I just don't see it happening yeah. over some documents. You talked about playing golf, that, and there were reports that night in Bedminster that he um, had dinner, was playing DJ as he loves to do, whether it be Mar-a-Lago, Bedminster, play his favorite songs. I mean, I think he has the mindset here of such a fighter. And, I mean, he's... He's not going to give up. I mean, he's already said that. Um, stay with us. I think Mercedes Schlapp is also here to talk about what we're seeing. And pretty incredible as we watch this. Um, it, we saw this in New York, but it was state charges. This is a federal case. This is the first time ever.